Now, Malina just needs overall a lot of strengthening. Pretty good condition. But she's a hard worker, so in the pool, I think we get the most for our time. All right. That's one of the ones you did. Let's come back out here. And I'm going to lay it flat on the water and push down. And slowly up. Don't let it pop. Don't let it splash. Good. And push down. Good. Good. And then back to the front for your punches when you're done. Okay. If you want to get me wet, that's how you have to put it. Ready? Go. 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 Punch. 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 Do you want to get wet or do you want me to get wet? Come on. Punch it out. up like this, remember this one? You're going to push them down to your sides. This way. Don't let them splash. Don't let them splash. Good work. Get on top of them. And we'll go. And down. Good. We're doing our lap flies in the pool. Hear a word. Now I'm going to close my eyes. I don't want to hear them, okay? Did you already do one? Yeah. Because I didn't hear it. Perfect. Good job. And we sink this down and you try and put both feet on it, remember? Okay, now I need you to stand right up over on top of it. You can still hold the wall, but I want you to stand right up with your hips away from the wall. Now, can you give me one hand? Got the wall. The big noise. Go back to the wall. Alina needs a lot of work on her core, and she has Pikmin or a port? A port, which we don't want to totally soak all the time to have her working suspended. So we try to work on something uneven so that she can get the same kind of challenge, like the noodle. Okay, we have to do just a little strengthening, okay? I'm going to put this under your foot and push it down. Ten of those with each leg. All right. Now, hands right here to help you. Okay? I let it come all the way up. Get it back down. Get it back down as straight as you can. Good job. There's one. And two. This matches your suit, kind of. Ready? And three. We color coordinated you. And okay, ready to switch legs? No. Switch legs. One. Two. Let it grow. Push with that leg. And all right. We're gonna try to do the run up. Get onto the silver part, step back on carefully, and ride back free ride, okay? Remember that one? Okay. Okay, ready to go? Let's try and get it. Here we go. Here we go. Let it go. Yes! Okay, step up. Now here's the tricky part. I'll be right here. Try and step on and keep your balance. <gasps> right. Woo! Nice, nice. Got a turn. Got a turn. Okay, go. Number two. Go, go, girl. Go, go, go. Got a girl. Good job. Push, push with those feet and hop up on the silver. She leans. Good job. Okay. Number three. Go. All right. Let's try from this side again. Stepping on, okay? Turn and face me, sweetie. Yep, there. Now can you step on carefully? Try and do it all by yourself. You don't need me. You don't need me. You don't, you don't. Good job. Up you go. Okay. Number four. There you come, right on camera. Look how nice you're doing. Good work. All right. Now we're going to try your tricky side, okay? Try real hard. I'll be right here. Oh, don't you dare smile now that he has the camera here. That would be awful. <laughs> you know. Good work. Keep going. Keep backpedaling. You're doing great. You're doing great. Don't crash into me. Keep it going. Nice. Fancy footwork. We're going to have to start making up dances because now you can go backwards just as fast as forward almost. Ready for some sitting stuff? We've been working really hard on trying to find the sweet spot on this board without leaning on me. 
I haven't quite got it mastered yet. It's close. Whoops. <laughs> right? Okay, shift where you need to be. I like this more than Pilates, and it's easier for the kids to do longer. All right, so you look on the camera now, okay? Look on the camera and just try to balance yourself. I'm going to turn you so you can see. Okay. Real tall, turn you in the middle. Oh, 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 where do you need to go? Good. Now lean over your knees just a little bit with your head. That a girl. Okay. Remember when you start to tip, your body's got to move in the other way. Okay. Now you're going to have to work those legs again. Are you ready? Okay. Often I'll do this without any help to balance when she gets strong enough in her trunk. She'll do this without me. All right. Let's make your feet be glued together, like they're stuck with super glue. They don't get to move at all. Your hands have to pull us forward into the water, but I have to get away from your back first, Alina. That a girl. Okay, pull us up. Pull us to the other one. Come on, sweetie. Pull us up. Keep those legs glued. Good work. Cool, big strokes. <laughs> all right, good work. Now on the way back, your arms are stuck by your sides and holding the kickboard, okay? You can hold on to the edge if you want. And just your legs are moving. I gotta get away from your back. Kick us down there, pull us down there. Get those legs to pull us down there. When I work Alina deep, she has as many trunk and um, <laughs> abdominal issues as deconditioning elsewhere. And so we do work a lot taking away her arms and legs and make her use that trunk when you start to hear it. All right, now see if you can find where your feet belong to hold it down there. Balance and watch. Oh, good work. This really makes your ankles and feet work hard, doesn't it? Alina's had some of her chemotherapy that has weakened, especially her peripheral muscles, so her ankles and feet. So you try to find ways to really make her work on that. And this is one good way I like to do it. She shakes it, yeah. <laughs> Get the water off. We've learned that. If we don't drop it on the water, it stays a little drier. Well, back on that, that a girl. That Get it back, that a girl treads off that camera. Let's scoot it back a little bit while you're on it. That's a good trick we've learned, isn't it? Here, we're gonna show them your floating exercise. Ready? Up it comes, whoops, stick it down. Up it comes, again, Emily, for your purposes, mid-range activity, without gravity, but a lot more, um, with a lot more buoyancy, it takes more control. Okay, ready? Distally to keep that down. Oh, nice. All right, we're gonna try and let it come straight up. Just about six inches. And down it, down it, that a girl. Okay, let's try again. Boy, you're doing really well with this dark blue one, sweetie. And down, nice. That way we're gonna walk and get all the way to the other end. Up and down, in steps, up and down. Good, there you go. Turn and go back the other way so you can see it from the back. And stick it down, float it up. I will sometimes do this with the treadmill. When she gets better, I'll turn the treadmill on, put her in a static place at a low speed, and she can't go to the back. She has to keep hopping in place so that the treadmill doesn't kick her back. We're working on weight shifting and recovery, so we're doing this game. There's one, the only rules are she has to never stand on them. Let's try two to start with today. All right, we're going to try two. And they can't get to the top of the pool. Okay. That girl. We're also looking, Emily, on pivoting, shifting, changing direction, controlling acceleration, deceleration, all of these things are all wrapped up in one big tough job here. <laughs> guys going to stay here. We're going to try and push up into the bubbles, OK? All right, here's what I want to try and do. Walk all the way up and push that, push that kickboard as far as you can. When you can't push it anymore, turn around and walk back with those jets behind you. Whoa, you're going to be able to push it all the way to the wall, Alina? Good. Good job, Alina. Now stay right in the jet path and walk back to me. Stay right in front of them. Okay, can you walk back? Don't let them knock you over. It's kind of like the tread. Oh, part of the kickboard has to stay in the water. Oh, man. Oh, wow. Woo! Now the trick is to turn yourself around and come back. Come back. Woo! Good job. Let's do that one again. Okay. Now hang on to your noodle. I want you to do 
do is to swim to the other end, okay? okay. Fast as you can. Okay. Mostly it's just leg right now, and your legs are getting tired, aren't they? You're working very hard. Tag up and I'll chase you back. Okay, we're going to go to back swimming, so I have to flip your noodle around. Grab it under your arm. Okay. There you go. Good. I've got you. All right, kick us down. Kick us down, girl. Big splashes. I know. It's in your face. Okay. Ooh, you can bend your knees if that feels good. Okay. Turn around. Here we go. Ready? Go. You can lay your head back. Rest your neck, sweetie. Rest your neck. Let it go. Good job. Can we do it one more time? Let's do angel kicks this time. Remember the angels in the snow? We're doing angels in the water. Lay your head back so your neck rests. Big sweep and angel kick. Can you rest totally and stop moving everything? Stop moving everything and try and float. Nice job. Nice job. I'm just going to swish you, okay? You're okay. I'm just going to swish you. You get to rest now. Swish you. Stretch up that trunk. Swish you the other way. Ready? Look how the good therapist did this for you. Get those legs used to coming out. We're just going to get the surface on. Have you heard the pulling with all that? I love yeah. that. Immediately in, in the amount of response she would give me, she works much harder, and she's much more comfortable, and she's much happier, and I have to tell her when we're done. So that was obvious within minutes. The amount of work she's willing to do versus on land, and the amount of repetitions I can get out of her and then move on to another activity, all of them strengthening, also obvious the first time, increasingly so each time I see her. Um, I did talk to mom before you came about how things are going on land, because in the end, all the kids have got to be able to function on land. They don't live in water, and, and things are going better on land. She's walking more, she's up and down stairs uh, with a railing by herself. They trust her to do that now and not fall. So we're seeing, in roughly four weeks, improvements that are quite functionally able to be measured. I just think it's an incredibly effective medium. Children's job um, or their activity of daily living in large part is, is to learn through play or to learn through recreation. Um, and it's a different kind of therapy, whether you're on land or in water. With kids, you have to always engage them at a level that is their work, which is their play. The kids, this population in particular, spend so much time feeling lousy and being in the hospital for very good reasons that um, being in the pool by itself is just psychologically and emotionally a wonderful release. Additionally, um, many of them have balance problems, so the buoyancy is incredibly effective, and many of them fall, and they, they don't fall here but to get their face wet. Um, the ability to move through the water and do resistance versus wading them or doing other less natural kinds of things um, is a wonderful benefit. And I frankly think you can challenge core, abdominal, trunk kind of stuff better in the water than you can anywhere. I just firmly believe that after treating kids, adults, not just pediatrics, but it's a great medium. You simply have to use your trunk all the time because everything else is floating if you're suspended. You know? So um, for all of those reasons, I like it. I additionally like, and you didn't see it so much with Alina, but the little one before her makes me think of this. I like the pool because many of our kids, by virtue of respiratory disease or their cancer, which becomes respiratory in some, time, some patients, um, or simply because they're deconditioned there as well, have difficulty with respirations, expanding ribcage, breathing comfortably. You saw Alina, the first thing you see in her when she fatigues is her respiratory. Um, and so I like the water for the, the pressure that that creates um, for them to work against without, without really knowing they're working against it. But that's significantly more pressure than air gives them.